do you like the, this rock and roll world? No, I don't like it. I love the music, and but I don't like the world because it's a corporate world, essentially. How do you mean? Well, they have to have an image. They have to sell stuff. They have to be perceived as being something other than they are. And sometimes the music and the people can get lost. Now, the, the U2 people I know, Paul McGuinness and the Four Lads, I like them. I, Bono I wouldn't be mad about because he orchestrates the corporate thing. It, that's what I was going to say. Is he, is he the main team. man in the whole band? Then? Does he's he, the main does he man. Dominate? He's the main man because he has the greatest passion. Now, the guy's a good guy, but he's an animal for life, for performing, and also for the corporate thing. I mean, if he, whatever he'd do, he'd do it like an animal. So he outcorporates the corporate man, and he's tougher and harder. And there's two U2s. There's the people in the music on the one hand, and there's the corporate U2 but thing. You, I had a fight with the corporate U2 thing because they tried to get me into their thing. And I don't work for you two. I was working for the reader. But it has degenerated into a little bit of a personal squabble. Is, is it as intense as that? No, it's not. I like the guys, but I'll always fight with their cooperation. And the, the press will make a little bit of but buzz. Did you, there ain't no OK, cost. let's stop beating around the bush again. Did you meet Bono face to face tonight? Or did you no, meet any of them? I'm going back to the party and I might meet them. I met Paul McGuinness in Dublin last week. We got drunk together. We had a good time. He's a good friend. He's a nice man. If I meet Bono, well, Bono's, Bono's not for real. But anyone else, Adam, Larry, The Edge, they're for real, they're intelligent people, they're talented people. If I meet them, they're a different generation, Shay. What do I want to be with them for? I want to be with people like you, my own age, uh, Terry Keane, <laughs> Shane Ross, guy, yeah. have fun. What do I want to be with these kids for? Which is your favourite of, of the group, or do you have a favourite? As a person, yeah. uh, Adam. Why is that? He's just a real human being. And the guy's suffered and he's still sane. And I think if you go through that rock and roll, Hollywood, being famous, uh, superstar thing and remain a happy man who can buy a hot dog in Leeson Street and go down to Susie Street and have a ball. That's a lovely quality. And it's the most important thing for even for you, Shay. Gotta stay sane. He's the sane man. So is Larry, so is Edge. But Adam is saner than most. The other thing of course that got you into a lot of trouble is that they, they said they felt that you overplayed the old the whole Christian angle in their lives. Well I didn't. They introduced that into their music in the early days. I was a biographer, I had to deal with it. And believe me, they know, uh, and I know, and I'm telling you, that I underplayed it. I did it as sympathetically as it could be done. I liked them. But the book I wrote was Chariots of Fire. I liked the guys. Yeah. And I wasn't Albert Goldman. And wait until they get there, Albert Goldman. Do you think they're a freak? The, has, the, has the Christian thing Come gone? Come back, Eamon, all is forgiven. <laughs> yeah. Has it got in the way of them uh, as musicians and as people? Do you think they'd be a whole lot looser if they hadn't got caught up in that? I think so. I think it might get in the way of them as musicians, and that's the thing. I'm looking at them objectively, even tonight. Rattling Home, the new music I don't like. The great music, Bad, Pride, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. The Joshua Tree is great music, man. And that's where they're coming from, Dublin, what they are. Now they, they're in America in their heads. The new music is a bit America. It's contrived a little bit. Uh, the the other schizophrenia thing, I'm interested yes. in is, is uh, are they different when they're in Ireland to what they are when they're in America? I'm sure they are, because Ireland is different from America. And they are impressionable. Bono is a very impressionable young man. Uh, and as a group of people, they're quite impressionable. And rock and roll's traditions and great roots. Rock and roll is in America the way soccer is in England. Yeah. So you go back to the root, you think there's something wrong with me, I'm not for real. And I think you two think there's something wrong with them, they're not for real. When, unless they do this American thing, and they've done it, I wish they'd go back and be for real. But this was a brilliant stroke all the same that you got to write the biography, they're gonna make you a lot of money. I was dead lucky, it will make me a lot of money. Um, is this more money than I deserve. Is this a pension for you now? It is, it's my pension, it's my, what Humphrey Bogart, called my fuck you money. Really? This is your passport to freedom? Like, you can do what you want now, is it? More or less. But I was doing that before anyway, even when I was skint. Well, why do you kind of keep writing for newspapers then if, if you... Because I have a, a passion to write about sport and uh, a smaller but still living passion to write about life in Dublin. And that's why I do it, because I like it. But you're a terrible man for getting sucked into arguments all the time and contumely, aren't you? Well, I do, but I mean, life is great. It's a buzz. It's, I mean, I'm passionate about things. So if you're passionate about things, you will get into arguments.